So, at any rate, but yeah, so this is the jumpsuit that I had on on Saturday. And it has like the little peekaboo in the arms. And this is it. This is what I had on that day. And the bottom of it um, has elastic at the bottom. Just a really, really good fit. This was, oh my God, it did, it fit, it fit me very nicely. So I enjoyed that. So I got it at Marshall's. I believe it was like $8 on clearance. And um, these, I got this one. I got a black one. I got the black. And I, the one that I wore when, when we went to dinner and I had that, um, I had the little shawl thing on with it. Weeks, weeks back, maybe, I think this was September or something. That one, this one, a uh, black. But the black one laces up. Um... And I bought this jumper, and I think I bought a couple other things. That short pants jumper that I wore that one day with the long sleeves, button up, and it's a little romper, it's short pants. I bought that, too, the same time, same day. Um, so, yeah, so, oh, my God, it was just the best feeling ever. And then when I started giving him, giving him his goodies, he was just literally blown away okay now and then he was like oh baby i want to go on a smoke break well you know we're here in california it's 420 here that's how we get out you know and so he was like he was like hey damn i want to smoke so bad they got me in here this morphine and shit is straight but look it ain't got it it, 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 it don't amount to you know, I want to, I want, I want to be able to be on top of, uh, on top of the Milky Way and look down and see my mama house. I said, oh, okay. So, I had, um, I had got him um, like four or five pre rolls that I had hooked him up with, and cause harvest is in, yeah. So I had him four rolled up, and I had put a lighter in there, and I put it like in a sandwich Ziploc bag, and I had t um, tucked that inside of his stuff with all of his goodies so as he's sitting there it was like it was like a picnic basket you know he was sitting there like it's trick-or-treat like oh my god look at my all my gifts and he was just going through there and he was like oh my god and you got me axe and oh my god and the degree i got him at target it was the double pack so he was like really tripping like babe but you got me a double pack oh girls when i tell you he just was so blown away and I had even got him some bullshit Halloween markdown candy. I got him some M&M's and um, some Hershey's Kisses. And, oh, my God, he was literally blown away. And I, it, it wasn't like, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I like him like that, you know. And, and um, he caters to me and I cater to him. And it wasn't, that, that's all it was. You know, my baby's down. He's not feeling good. And what a way for me to go and, and boost his spirits. But not only show up, but show up cute. And show up bearing gifts and prizes, you know. And some goodies and some snacks. And some smoke and some, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And get in the bed. So, when I tell you I left from there. And I was going to, I kind of was going to stay the night. I was kind of going back and forth on whether or not I stayed the night. But I know Tioni had to be to work. Sun, Sunday morning at 11 or 10 o'clock. And then the time had changed. So I didn't leave the hospital Saturday night until the wee hours after midnight. And I was like, babe, I got to go home. Because he was like, no, stay. I was like, I got to go home. He was like, okay. It was like, he's like such a big old baby. And though he's so masculine and, and so tough and, you know, and... And, and looking at him, you like, I ain't going to fuck with him. He wanted him, but with me, it's like he's a gentle giant. I don't know, you know, and um, it's a trip because everybody else, he handled him crazy. But with me, he's such a gentle giant. He was like, okay, all right, well, you got to go, okay. And so yesterday morning, Sunday morning, um, since I knew I had to drop Tioni off and I didn't tell him that I was coming. So I went back yesterday. And when I went back yesterday, I know that baby likes Jack in the Box egg rolls. So I went and I got him some egg rolls. I went, he liked orange bang. So I went and got my baby an orange bang. Um, so, um, and I went by this Mexican place. They had some tamales. So I got him some tamales. I got him an orange bang. I got him some, um, 
some egg rolls from Jack in the Box, and that was it. But I, once again, after I dropped Tioni off, she had to be there at 10. When I dropped her off, I just got on the freeway and just, you know, whisked out to him. And um, when I walked in there, it was like a sight for sore eyes because actually he was asleep. And I knocked lightly, and I went in. The curtain was still kind of pulled a little bit. And when I looked around the curtain, I said, baby. And he looked, and oh my God, it was simply priceless. When I tell you, it's like a person can tell you all the while, oh, I feel this about you. I feel this. I feel they can say all that stuff. But when I tell you, I got me a real one. And I guess, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I, 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 now I do know what he feel for me. And now I know it. Whereas at first, you know, he would say this, this, and this. But now, I feel it, though. I feel it. And it's like, but now, you want me up under your ass all the time. <laughs> you want me up under your And then on top of that, every time, when, when I come to his house, it's like, it's bedtime. Like, why we gotta be in the bed all the goddamn time? Like, Damn. Shit, can we sit in the can we sit can we sit in the den and just watch TV for a little bit? Why we gotta go all the way to the room and lay down and watch TV? Why we gotta why we gotta we bypassing all this shit right here? We going all the way to the back to the room like every time it's like oh my god, oh my god! I mean he is on me tough like that, and then I I'll just get up to just go pee. I get up and go pee. He could come to the door and just be standing there. Just if you don't get away from me, so I could just pee for a second. <laughs> Damn, you ain't got to just just every just everywhere I'm at. Like you just right there. Like you know, yeah. So anyway, but it's just a love thing. My baby just feels a particular kind of way about me, and I feel a particular kind of way about him, and it just shows, you know. Um, and so, baby, I, I'm just, I'm happy. And I just thank you. I thank you for being an asset in my life. I truly do. I, I just, I just thank you. I just, I'm done with it. So, at any rate, so I went and I did that. I came back home last night about 9 o'clock because it was a school night. You know, I needed to ensure that the kitchen was cleaned up, that clothes was ready for school, that, you know, um, clothes were washed for the week that they had their stuff set aside because in the morning it needs to run smoothly. And I've just patterned my kids that like that since kindergarten that they know that Sunday night you have to get your stuff laid out or you know have you know in your mind as to what you're going to wear and all that kind of stuff and everything needs to already be washed so when when it's time to get up in the morning it's just merely grabbing and going. And though Tioni doesn't have a first period nor a sixth period so, like, right now, she, she should be home any time. Um, um, and so, she has more time than Isaiah now because it's like she just takes her time, you know, and, um, you know, in the mornings. So, anyway, I know I just, I went on a little tangent and everything about my baby, but, girls, I got me a real one. Oh, my God. When I tell you, look. And I mean no disrespect or nothing like that. But when I tell you this is the best I ever had in my life. The best I've ever had in my fucking life. And I don't know if it's because of the feelings and the emotions behind it. I don't know what it is. But it's truly the best I've ever had in my life. In, in all aspects. On all, all kinds of things. You know what I mean? I mean the best I've had in my life. Like for real. You know it's like we're friends. Like we be on some whole vibe shit. Like, we can get to talking. We can get to blowing and talking and shit. And it's like, you think I talk crazy? He talk just as crazy as I'm talking. But, you know, of course, he's a man, so it kind of fits. But when I start talking crazy and we both on 10 and we on that loud, oh, my God, we be clowning. We be talking so much shit to one another. It's crazy. I mean, it's just so crazy, but it's so crazy cool. Anyway, so this morning I woke up. Thank you guys for all of the well wishes, the, the, the comments and everything. 
uh, about the pictures that I posted because I also posted a picture this morning. I woke up like this and I literally woke up like this. I got up, took me a shower because I was in the bed with Bay's ass again last night. He was like, well, can't come, can't come get in bed with me? I was like, oh, shit, ain't here we go again. Somebody gonna come in this motherfucking room on our ass like, what y'all doing? Yeah, one of them. I ain't never done no shit like that in a hospital bed. Oh, my God. He was like, why are you playing with me? Go on and put your leg up over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was crazy because his nurse, look, check this out. He had this nurse, this little, you know, this little white lady, respectfully. But, you know, I think she was kind of being a little flirtatious with my baby, you know what I'm saying, before I got there. Because once I got there and then she came in the room, you know, um, and she was like, oh, hello. You know, like, I wasn't supposed to be there. You know what I mean? And so, he was like, well, you know, it's that was kind of weird. At first, her and I was talking about The Walking Dead, because he watched The Walking Dead. And so, he was like, at first, we was real cool. As soon as my baby come now, you know, now she on a whole different level with me now. But at first, we was cool. And I was like, you know, because she was a little kind of tight with me, because when I had got there and everything... And, um, Bay was like, well, you know what, I, um, they came and they changed my dressing and stuff, but I, you know, I would love to be able to, um, you know, take me a shower. And I was like, well, babe, shit, I'll take you a shower. She bring the shower chair. Let me go to the nurse's station and get us a, a shower chair and I'll get a plastic bag. I'll put your foot in the bag and, you know, tape it up till it, you know, it'll stay dry. And then you sit in the shower chair and I'll give you a shower if that's what you want to do. And so he was like, you give me a shower for real? I said, I'll give you a shower. What? I done seen everything you got. What are we talking about right now? For real? I will give you a shower <laughs> if you don't quit playing with me. So, um, and I guess he was like, he was like, dang, you make me feel all geriatric and shit. Like, you know, I'm just helpless. But hell, but you acting like you helpless because shit, he want me, you know. He was like, oh my God, baby, look at my arm. I said, if you don't stop it, damn it. You know what I mean? And so, I didn't give him a shower. He went on in there. He took care of his business himself. He was like, well, I'm going to just go and take me a little whole bath then. Because he did have the um, the nozzle. So, I did get the shower chair. He went in there. He sat in there in the shower and shit. And he was just running the water on his head and shit. And so, uh, while he was doing that, I had changed the linens on his bed. So, I go to the nurse station and ask the nurse about, you know, if I can get some clean linens. Same woman. Oh, well, I'll be there momentarily. I said, excuse me, I don't need I, I don't need you to change his linens. I'll, I'll change his linens. I just need you to, you know, if you can get the linens for me or if you can have someone else, just bring the linens. I mean, it's, it's, it's no problem. You know, he's in the shower anyway. Um, but while he's showering, I like to make his bed so when he comes out, then, you know, he could just get back in the bed. That woman had an attitude with me. I was like, oh my God, now my man is fine. Now, I would have to go and take that part. He's sexy as shit. So, I understand why she probably felt a little something. But you better calm down, Marianne, because that's all me right there. Don't fuck with it, okay? That's all me right there. You better ask him, okay? So, calm down, okay? Jill, Jillian, whatever. Becky, whatever the get down is. Calm down, boo-boo, okay? Yeah. So, at any rate, so this morning I got up and it hit me to go to the Goodwill. And, oh my God, before I get to the Coupe de Gras, though, I am going to get to some of my best purchases of the day. And it is no other than a Authentic Jade Lavender Bracelet. It's cold to touch. One thing you can tell, the reason how you could tell... When jade is real, it will not only will it be glass, but it will also be cold to touch. When you touch jade to your skin, especially to your face, it should be cold, very cold. And oh my God, this, oh my God, this was the second Goodwill that I went to after I had dropped Anthony off. I went to the other one and I got this for $7.99 and I got another little bracelet. She put it in this whole bag. So this was $7.99 or $5.99. So at that one, somebody knew 
the you know the authenticity of it and they marked it for $7.99 and I put it on right away and um, one thing about lavender jade I love 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 jade I have a lot of jade and um, but the lavender jade is good for emotional healing um, you know to kind of align your uh, uh, emotional well-being and oh my god in is that not beautiful I love 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 it so I got that I love um, I, I love, um, uh, natural stones, if you haven't noticed. I love, love, love natural stones. Now my baby like them too. He likes natural stones too. He has a really nice, um, bracelet, um, with leather and natural sto stones and a shark tooth on it. And it's really, really nice. So he likes it too. And for a shark tooth... You know, a lot of men wear it in this kind of tribal. Um, a lot of um, 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 Polynesian descent, like um, Samoans, um, Hawaiians, Tahitians, you know, Polynesian descent, they um, they like the shark tooth. And it's like um, it's like a manhood, like a manly type thing. Uh, it's, it's supposed to, it's like a warrior symbol or... It's like a symbol of strength and courage and all that stuff. So when you see um, men wear a shark tooth around their neck or on their uh, bracelets or stuff like that, um, that's what it signifies. So for those of you guys that don't know, just a little, you know what I'm saying, factoid. That, um, and so me and my baby are just the same because he, you know, he, he likes um, um, natural stones and stuff too. I mean, I like my diamonds, don't misunderstand me, but diamonds will also drain your energy if you don't balance them out with other things. So, um, I took off one of my bracelets and I added this and then I have, um, my Pandora bracelet here that I love, love, love and, um, and it has rose quartz and all kinds of goodies on there. Oh my God, emerald and all kinds of beautiful stuff. Now look at this one. I got this one today as well. This was $3.99. The color of the week was blue. And look how gorgeous this is. Is that not beautiful? But let me show you some other things too while we're, while we're doing this. Look at this. Look at this natural stone. Blue in color. And oh my God, now my girl hooked me up on this. Okay. Now, I believe this is Brenton because it does have a B on there. So it might be... Brenton, I don't know. I got some Brenton things. I'm going to show you those things too. But this is, excuse me, also natural stone. And oh my God. <laughs> excuse me. I don't know exactly what um, stone this is. I will look it up. Um, I have my crystal um, Bible here. And I'm going to, um, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to look up my new stones that I have. But a lot of these things just radiated to my soul. You know, it was kind of magnetism. Okay, give me that one. Okay, give me that one. If I felt it, I got it. And so, um, I'm kind of going that route with things nowadays. If it feels good, that's what I'm going with. If it don't, if it don't feel right, it ain't right. So, but this one, and oh my God, my girl hooked me up. She was like, Tina, don't worry about it. You hear all the time, and... You know, my and my homeboy, the, you know, the, the dude, the manager, he wasn't even there today, and I still was able to get what I got. Imagine that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't call it. It just is what it is, you know. You put out good works, and good works come back. That's just the way that it is. So, anyway, I got this. I got um, a fossil, leather, authentic fossil, um, pink face, watch. Brand new. Look at the back of it. Brand new. But now this is $7.99. But why she charged me like 60 something dollars for everything that I got? And you ain't seen the bags yet. Okay? And that's what my military discount. She was like, Tina, don't worry about it. No, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Is this all you want? Yeah, this is all I want. Okay, I got you. No problem. 